show, bro. I'm just saying. Complete show. Yeah. I'm saying the world. Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Cognac Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun. Here we're at Media Meat Studios. In conjunction with VJTV, Feral Films, History in the Making Entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions. It's, uh, what's today? The 20 something. something. Yeah, it's, 22nd, it, it is something, bro. I, 22nd, 21st. Like you lie. You always got to uh, yeah, go back to the lie. day that you remember. You're like, okay, my daughter's birthday was uh-huh. last Friday. <laughs> it's the 22nd. Yes, yeah, 22nd, and you lie. You know? Shit. <laughs> you know. say you lie. Yeah, it's been another interesting week as always, you know. What's the most interesting thing that happened this week? Uh, what happened this week? What what happened this week? The little girls at uh, the thing that oh, happened at the, Sesame Place. The Sesame Place, in yeah, Philadelphia. Yeah. yeah, so we we can start with that. All right. Hope y'all had a having a good day. So. Yeah, you know, we seen we seen the videos. Once again, you got black people, melanated people, kids, the most innocent of all, being mistreated by uh, the establishment. Um, I seen the videos. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm not happy. I think the thing that I think what the most heartbreaking thing is not heartbreaking, but the thing that got me was they, they whacked ass apology. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How they was like, oh, the character, maybe the character didn't see him. Which, to bullshit. me, one, it's bullshit. Because basically it's a place for kids. Right. So, you being a character, you're trained to look down because all of your fans are going to be, you know, super sure. So, how can you see everybody else but mm-hmm. just not see these two girls? Right. And the way the character waved off the girls like Maybe I'm not no, talking yeah. to y'all yeah. and kept it on I mean that's the most important thing but the thing was is that in all of their whacked apologies talking about they're going to have sensitivity training and all that for the employee I think the first thing that they should have said was okay that employee that did that no longer works with us uh-huh. and now we can move on because Whoopi Goldberg who works a lot with Sesame Street was like I called Sesame Street. They was like, she called the corporate offices was like, bruh, what's really going on now? She didn't lit the fire and they're like, oh yeah, whoever that employee is, I'm sure they're gone by now. Right. But Because this is what we're doing because once again, why, how, how, how is it in 2022? Thank you. In 2022, we're still, we're still, we're still going, going through, through this. Bullshit. We're still well, going I'm through saying, it. So what happened? Because I don't even know everything. I just read a little bit, but okay. So, this, so what exactly happened? Uh, they have a place, there's a thing called Sesame Place, which is based on Sesame Street. It's like kind of an amusement park in uh, Philadelphia, mm-hmm. right? They were given a parade. The character Rosa, Rosita is like this tall, blue animal or whatever it is, mm. um, was in a parade, and she was hugging and shaking hands with all these uh, bystanders watching the parade. There was two little black girls there, and their mother was filming. And the character Rosita hugged the two kids, hugged the kids next to him, high fived um, a white woman or mm-hmm. next to them. Seen the two little black kids, waved it off. Yeah. Kept walking. Shrugged them off. Shrugged them off. Kept walking like she. Like kinda, not today, Negro. Them, yeah, you looked at them and went like this, like I'm not stopping. And then went to the next person and proceeded to hug. So it just looked just displayed. Yeah. It looked super displayed. You can look it up on your phone now, but it looked super displayed. And Sesame Place issued, well, I can't even call it an apology, but they said, well, one in one of their press releases or uh, the PR things, they said that the person probably didn't see him. And I was like, uh, you're right, trying Rob. to see kids. It's bullshit. Yeah. Like, how can you not see kids? Because you're going to be looking down through in the whole parade. Because all right. of the kids that you're going to be interacting with is, you know, six, seven, eight years old. Mm-hmm. So you're trained to look down. You right. know what I mean? So you can't say that, okay, you get to these two kids and you didn't see them. Come on. Bullshit. 
And then they came out with another one talking about that we we are now doing sensitivity training for why do do you have to do that in twenty twenty two? Why do we need sensitivity right. training? Yeah, why do you need sensitivity training when basically it should be like common sense, common knowledge, or whatever? Mm. All of these kids are coming to watch y'all, There's and no such thing Rosita as happened sense. to be their favorite character. Mm. And sometimes kids don't understand. You know, they can't take they they can't separate reality from imagination so to speak. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. they so don't know yet. all they know is that this character Just is the one that up. they see on television. And that's who I like. And that's who I like. And for that character to shrug them off, they probably may not have understood it more than their mother did. Yeah. But it was a straight diss because they looked disappointed when that character uh walked past them. Exactly. And it's a it continual sucks. it's the continual bullshit. And you know, I mean it's I mean, like I said, we're in twenty twenty two. It's like, motherfuckers, get over yourselves. I don't give a fuck what race you are or whatever. And that's even to niggas hating on niggas too. Get over your fucking selves with the shit y'all be on. It's like, we, we, this some bullshit. I just say that. Yeah, it just, it just really made no sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it, it made no sense for, for it to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, like, Especially why would you children. just shrug off two little black girls? What, like, why? What What was the purpose in doing that? And it wasn't even like you played it off like you didn't see him. You sh you really shrugged him off. Yeah. So and now, there was another one where I think he, like, put his hand on her face, like, or something to right. shrug her off, like, nah, I ain't, I ain't giving you no attention. Yeah, and it's just, and there's so many now, a lot more are coming out. Exactly. You know what I mean? Everybody and, got phones. Everybody got this fucking and, microcomputer in their hands now. So everything is always being filmed, right? Whether on purpose or accidentally, or just and you know you catch some, you just happen to catch the shit, right? And what and what happens is that this one person, like a lot more, a lot more videos that came out, and I think now that a lot more videos that came out, people were thinking that when it happened at that time, they so were tripping. Low. They didn't they didn't think that like okay that wasn't really a shrug off or whatever. But now seeing this displayed, they go back and look at their video and like hold on man wait a minute the same thing happened to me. Now, yes. the situation is when you have one person like whoever was under the Rosita mask messed up or tainted the reputation of a whole damn corporation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's not you fucked Sesame, up the church's money. Yeah, Sesame Place is Sesame Street, who's had kids on their show, what, since the 60s? And, and the thing 60s, about it, 70s? Come what, on. People, what, what a lot of people don't know is Sesame Street was created for black children. Really? Yes. Because they used to have, a, they used to feature a lot of black kids on Sesame you Street. You had Gordon, you had, uh, what was her, I can't remember all their names, but even a chick from 227. Right, that's right, <clears throat> yeah. She was on there, because wasn't she Gordon's wife? In real life? On the show. On the on show, Sesame yeah, Street. yep. You had her. You had you had the the one sister who I think she was black and and Latin. Right. The one sister. You, yeah. I think Rita Moreno <clears throat> used to be on there. Like like <clears throat> Sesame <throat> Street when it first came out, when it was first it introduced, was, it was, it was super introduced. diverse. That's yeah. what it was. Even the characters. If you look at some of the read back on some of the characters, the characters are diverse. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So just for that to happen to that corporation, you know, they all over it. They're like. They might be going back and look at past videos and be like, whoever was in the costume this day, uh, they need to be going too. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you, like I said, that one person tainted, they did all of this all over the internet, all over television. When it right. got to CNN, when it got to Don Lemon, it was all bad for you. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know Don Lemon going to say something. Don, and then when it got to The View, right, all Rob. bad. Yeah. So Sesame Street was originally created for black and Latino children to uh, boost them as far as education. Right. That's where it started from. So it, I'm just uh, I'm just appalled at how, you know, something that was started for it. And, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm trying not to rant tonight. I'm trying to chill. You know, but like, it's, you're right. It's 2022. I don't see why, I don't see why they're still tripping off of black folks as much as we did for this fucking country. This corporation, we're not the country. We started everything. We started. We're not the fuck ups here. You know what I mean? Anytime you hear some badass shit in the news, it ain't black folks. 
But you know what I mean? We're still the ones getting shunned. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine, uh, or, or I call my sister, just this uh, this past week and her videos on Facebook that her daughter was accused of shoplifting and she was with her daughter. She was like, what the fuck? And it was a case of mistaken identity. But the first thing they did was see this little black girl and was like, oh, it was her. And she went into a store. The, the story, the context was her and her mom was shopping. They went into one store. There was a female in there still, right? Had on, a, I guess, a red coat and some red shoes, right? She was in there still. Um, and my partner, uh, my friend and her daughter left and they went to another store. So they're in another store, they picked out some items and her daughter went to pay for them. And the manager said that we can't sell to you because we got a call that you were shoplifting. She told her mother. Mm -hmm. Her mama went the fuck off. Right, she the should. The fuck you mean we were in here shoplifting, right? Because that's the thing. Don't don't accuse she, me of stuff. Yeah, I can't she stand went the a fuck thief off. and a liar. Yeah, so she said that either. the other store called some security guard, and then they found out the only reason why she got accused is because she had on a, a red sweatshirt. Big deal. But her hair was like super blonde. You know, mm -hmm. she had the, the blonde hairdo. The other person that was still in didn't. So all they said was the red shirt, and they was like, okay, what's her? So they just accused this woman of shoplifting mm -hmm. just hella displaintly. Right. You know I mean? For absolutely no fucking reason. Right. So then after further investigation, they was like, oh, no, it wasn't her. Oh, we apologize. No, fuck your apology. You just seen this one black girl was like, oh, it was you? You know what I mean? And put her on blast like that. So hopefully my folks. Bullshit. Just like... Um Damn, I can't think of the name, but there was a sister who the ESPYs was just this weekend mm -hmm. or just the other day or some shit. And there was a sister, I'm trying to think, did she play basketball? Anyway, there's this melanated queen who was phenomenal for her team this season. Initially, the ESPYs didn't send her an invite. Really? And she was nominated for some shit. And so uh, social media got behind, like, what the fuck is going on? Y'all ain't by. So, uh, you know, uh, oops, our bad. So they sent her an invite after. I mean, it's before the ESPYs came, but after the initial, you didn't get the invite. And this sister stood on her morals. So I respect and salute her. And I'm sorry. I, I've been having a busy ass week. I meant to jot her name down. I will pull it up before the. Uh, Episode is over. Oh, tonight. you got viewers telling them, hey, pull that dame but up. Y'all know. She she was like, nah. She declined. She's like, nah, I'm cool. You gonna see me this shit after? <laughs> and I was like, I salute. I respect that. Cause that that it'd be so many snubs from the industry and different major corporations be on some bullshit. And a lot of niggas <laughs> fall for the shit and take it as oh don't think of it as, as disrespect when that shit is blatant disrespect, disrespect. And, and it's funny yeah motherfuckers be selling their soul for fucking value meals to be named after them and shit and <laughs> all type of shit these corporations that don't give a fuck about you you know I'm man you, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be nice tonight but yeah I'm, no, it's, it's, yeah it is thanks Larisha, Aaliyah Boston. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just yeah. It's just funny how like I don't know how society still chips off a of black folk. See, here here's the thing, and this is a scenario I've always said, right? It's like this. If I was a shoplifter, right? Mm -hmm. If I was a shoplifter, if I was a thief or whatever, I walk in the store, mm -hmm. right? I know that you're gonna watch me when I'm in this motherfucker. You break so what I would do, I would go get a white partner mm -hmm. and an Asian partner, right? I walk in the store first, let all the attention be on me while they robbing your motherfucking ass block. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Period. Because you're not going to watch them. Mm -hmm. You didn't already assume that, you know, if all they had to do was come in there dressed nice, you're going to already assume they got money. Yeah. They don't need to steal. They in there to shop. Yeah. I could be in there in the fucking Win Brooks Win Brothers Win suit Win and you and still them got gonna watch me. Winthrop, huh? and Winthrop and Chester and them got it. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I was doing. And that's what people don't understand. You know what I mean? It's like, I ain't got to steal for you. I, 
I know how to gaffle your motherfucking ass. I'm Not over, that I would. Yeah, I'm over so much of this shit. Yeah, but it's just funny to be like, sometimes like when you're at work, not even at work, but when you know that you're being kind of discriminated against, sometimes we just laugh the shit off yeah. and we just leave because we already, we like, we know what the fuck you doing. Right. It is just super goddamn funny because there's affluent black folks in this motherfucking society. Yeah. You know, there's people that work hard for their money like everybody else. I, mean, I can walk in the store and buy too. everything in that store twice. Right. And still yeah. have change. And still have change. You know what I mean? And they don't they don't fucking get it. But, it's, you know, it's just funny to me, man. And it's like, shouldn't racism damn near be over now? Because no. all the motherfuckers in the 50s and 60s, then they fucking no, 80s they and still, 90s. They, like, they, no. <laughs> the but fuck they did they teach their kids? They taught their like, kids? Hey. They taught them? The thing is, niggas ain't ready for it. They right. they talk, they kept teaching they shit. Mm -hmm. They they ain't never stopped teaching. They gonna keep teaching them. Right. But we got to teach our kids. When the officer pull you over, you got to put both hands on the wheel. You got to do this. You got to do that. You know what I'm saying? And we we're trying to. The first time I got pulled to San Francisco, right? Mm -hmm. I was driving a Beamer. Right, that was my first, first, my car. first car. Mine too. My yeah, first car was a BMW. Beamer? Yeah. Yep, mine was a 1973 3.0 S yeah, Bavaria. My first right? car was a Beamer. So, I don't inkies. I was the yeah. I was. Yeah. I was driving. I could tell you where I was at. I was on Market Street, just past Seventh, when they had that Jack in the Box oh, down there by the Greyhound station. Mm -hmm. Right, cop pulled me over. I had, I had no idea. Good. Right. Let me give you some context. Even before that. We used to sneak and listen to Richard Pryor, that nigga's crazy. Oh. Right? Back in the day when I was like 10, 11 years old, right? Mm -hmm. He had one part of his his uh, bit where he says, I am reaching into my pocket for my license because I don't want to be reaching. in a motherfucking accident. Mm -hmm. I didn't never, I never knew that what that meant. I knew it was funny as shit, mm -hmm. but I never knew what that meant. The first time I got pulled over, that's the first thing that came to my mind, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. So, when the cop asked me for my license and registration, as before, he was asking for insurance papers. I went, um, officer, my license is located in my right rear pocket. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm taking my hand very slowly. I got my hand on my license. I am bringing it out very slowly. It's in my wallet. I'm bringing it out the window, right? Mm -hmm. The cop asked me, as soon as he grabbed my shit, he said, man, are you trying to be an asshole? I said, no, I'm trying not to get shot. Right, he looked at my shit, laughed, gave it back to me, and said, "Have a nice day." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, "No, understand." Should Straight up, like that, that was eighty. That was eighty four. Damn, that was eighty four, and we still got to do that shit. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy ass world we live in. You know, you got all type of shit going on. You got, um, you know, we've already spoke on the the Britney Griner shit over there in Russia. Right. And you got... Did she get sentenced yet? Uh, I kind of... I'm going to be honest. I think they told her to plead guilty because it's a better bargaining chip if she already gets sentenced. All that shit is, is, is then, chess it, moves. Then, oh, I yeah. think they get... Yeah, like you're They're right. trying to exchange prisoners. Yeah. And so... And I, and I feel one end of it of when people are like, you get, well, you got to know about where you're going. Right. And what their laws are. That is true. You can't be you can't you can't be thinking privilege. I'm an American and I'm not saying she did this out of ignorance. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Wrong type. <coughs> but when you're going somewhere, you need to know what's okay, what's not okay. You need to do your research. Right. You really do. Because hey, certain shit is allowed here that ain't allowed over there. Right, and if that's you true. and you go and you can't you can't sit there and I'm once again, I'm not saying she said none of this. I'm just speaking in general. If you can't go somewhere thinking I'm an American and I'm a that, that's the that's just like how yeah. these pilgrims be I, I, I buddy, what you mean? It, same thing. People in other countries don't give a fuck about you. They really no matter don't. what your skin tone is and if you an American, they like you Motherfuckers think you the shit, and you and they won't let you play ignorant neither. They won't you play. They won't let you play. I know that you could do that. They, you know what I mean? They you can't smoke weed. I can't have a vape pen, and I and think about it. And they don't also, hear none Russia, of that shit. Russia is heavily against the alphabet community as well. Yes, for sure. I was just gonna. They say don't that. play that either. They already had a strike with her. Oh, those some of them like Russian that. women be looking. <laughs> but I ain't one of the guys. 
Yeah. Right. Is he doing? But here's the thing. Big C, what's happening? Well, here's the thing about Brittany Griner, and I hope that they get that system back over here. What I didn't understand is that she's been playing with this Russian team for years, for, for years right? So but. I'm surprised that none of her Russian allies, the coaches, the owners, what? nobody came out to speak for. That's they, what I'm not. No, they don't because know they want to breathe. They yeah. want to be able to walk and go yeah, to the look. store and buy some milk and some, right. that's, some snow cones. That's what I didn't understand. To, they, they have one of the... Uh, Girls on the team was up there talking. No, you said one of the girls on the team. I'm talking about the team owners, the team coaches, right. the trainers. They know they, somebody. They, yeah. like they know said, somebody. Oh, Once again, yeah. who, who trying to wake <laughs> up dead? <laughs> right. <laughs> she that shit a buck. She's good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking choke off of They're already mad at you. If you, cool, if you cool with her just for her being gay, that's not okay, bro. Hey, like, right, Rob. I, I was, I'm finna get into that, too. <laughs> Rob, I'm finna get into that. That's why I was started off with the, oh, you gotta know where you're going. Right. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me once again. Yeah, he's water, bro. Pipe. Also, yeah, yeah, doing it. <laughs> you gotta know the law. She broke the law. Just, and, and. I'm going to stay on the she broke the law part first. If you break the law in another country, just because you're an American don't mean you get a fucking free pass. pass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking sorry, but that's... Let's keep it real. I can't go to Venezuela right. or somewhere where you can't kill chickens and think, oh, this motherfucking dumbass bird on the side of the road in my way and run over hella chicken right. and think just because I'm an American, them motherfuckers is finna just treat me any different. Right, and you can't play ignorant because they ain't, they gonna allow that. And I don't give a fuck what the country is. Yeah. Cause right. My, my wife said that when she was in, I think she was in France or yeah. somewhere over there that she was trying to figure out how to pay like toll to get on a, mm -hmm. a thing and she had walked through this gate by accident and got rushed by all of the He's security. Like, where you going? Cut. Like, where you going? And she was like, I'm just trying to pay to get on this motherfucker. Yeah. Well, you should have knew. I ain't no shit. Like, yeah. she yeah, really fight. sweated her. Yeah. She was like, no, I'm trying to pay to get on this motherfucker. Exactly. I got the cheese. Because what the Man, it was you look at look at the concept of <laughs> Americans through other countries' eyes. Excuse me. They think we're arrogant. arrogant. We're, That's the first we're, word. Where we feel we're entitled. Entitled. <laughs> That's the second word. And you've seen you've seen it displayed in movies all over. I'm an American. What you did? Like, motherfucker, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Right. We don't like Americans. You can be motherfucking Caesar Borgia. Right. With a motherfucking, them, them, them sandals that light up with the wings they on them. don't care. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. They you don't. broke a law here. You gonna have to deal with our ju just judicial system. system. Which ain't gonna be fucking easy. We don't give a fuck. So yep. there's that part of just like, man, you gotta be, you gotta be cognizant of where the fuck you going and what the rules are. Right. You really do. I, and and I, hey, I'm all for black power and all that, but <clears throat> once again, you gotta be know your fucking audience, know your own. You can't just think because I'm an American and I'm once again, I'm not saying that was her attitude or nothing. You know, Russia, once again, like I said, they heavily against the, that alphabet. Community. And they're in that fucking war. They don't like niggas. Yeah. They got that, yeah, they got that takeover shit going on. And it's a hostage grab because they want to get, they, the United States got some motherfuckers locked up over here. That we shouldn't even and, have. And and <laughs> Russia like, okay, nigga, we going to, we gonna, oh, you, let me catch one of your people slipping. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Let me let me catch let me catch a motherfucker with a motherfucking yeah, exactly. a half burnt zigzag nigga is on. Yeah, I, I'm guilty. Let me get smell like weed. Yep, Come on, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, but you saying motherfuckers gotta know the rules. You, gotta you have know, to. You gotta know the penalties too. You gotta you know. You have what, to. You know what I'm saying? I know here if I jaywalk, okay, I'm pretty much cool. You know what Some I'm saying? If I speed they... and I'm going under 100, I'm pretty much not getting yanked out the car unless I smell like something. Right. You know what I mean? Out there, the last motherfucker from here that had the same shit she had got 14 years. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to break that she don't, You think she don't get six? They got penalties. Yeah. They got some they don't stiff play. shit. You got to know. You they gotta don't know play. The, you yeah, they got it stiff is. shit. And now I'm going to be devil's advocate in a sense, and this is to 
to talk about this corporation. Well, you say on the other side. Yeah, on the other side. I like being devil's advocate. I know, I know. Red is one of my favorite colors. I just don't like the word devil, my brother. I, I ain't talking about white people when I say it this time. But, oh, wow. Um, Thank you. We'll be here all week. All week. Um, you look at the sense of why does she have to go play in Russia? So you have that argument of the equal pay shit. Mm-hmm. So I get that too. But that's what a lot of these American sports figures, females, have to do. They have to go play in other countries because they get paid fucking peanuts here. Yeah. Well, you seen that love in basketball. <laughs> the old girl was in Italy. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I watched uh, Bill Burr's... Uh, White Tiger? <clears throat> Did you see that one? I just saw his last one. Oh, okay. Right. And he spoke on this shit about the WNBA and the whole, you know, the women's movements and all this shit. And, hey, I'm all for women's, your body, your choice, all that. So, please, don't nobody misconstrue my words. These are just semi-jokes, but there's some seriousness to it. And that was brought to you by the people the, who drink. The shit that we drinking. Uh, <clears throat> when you have... Hold on, Rob said no. They have to understand they don't sell t- I, That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going. That's that, you. You. We. You already know where I'm at, bro, bro. That's where I'm going with this. You have all these movements and whatnot of women's power, women's this, women's that, and I watch Bill Burr's comedy thing, his comedy special, and he's a beast. Bill Burr is just a beast. To add context, Bill Burr is like the white Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because he tells shit, like he shit like it is, and he says he says some real he says some real shit. And I was watching, and I'm cracking up the other night, and I'm lit too. But I'm just sitting in the living room watching that shit. And he was like, "You got all these women's movements and all this this here." And no, I'm not bashing y'all. I'm just I'm trying to bring some logic to y'all. He said, "But none of these motherfuckers support the WNBA." <laughs> he said the motherfucking games is empty. <laughs> yeah, they do. You got an all women's basketball league. The motherfucker should be sold out. Right. Right. Because because you have women talking about well, not just women, you have men, you have people, I'm just say people talking about the salary comparison. Mm-hmm. You know, cuz remember the WNBA was subsided by the NBA. Right. Because and, and women needed their own leagues, so you, they needed to because they were going to play. They was going other, other, yeah. But you have all these women groups, the the Me Too's, the, the and I'm not pointing fingers at none of y'all. I'm just naming some shit. Once again, don't please don't misconstrue my words. I'm just trying to really have an educated conversation. Uh, you have all these groups of women should be on top, equal pay, equal that, but. The motherfuckers don't support their shit. Right. Who don't so, support it? The, you people. Women or yeah. anybody? Anybody. So. I'm not going to, because somebody going to be like, hey, being against feminism. No, I'm not. I love women. I come from a woman. The melanated woman is God. Yeah, you can't say you, you're against feminism just because you have no, different I, but I, 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 you, I call shit what it is. That's what it is. And you call shit what it is. Accountability. Same way Brittany Griner broke the fucking law, it's accountability. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm, and, and, and some nigga gonna be like, oh, this nigga cooning. Fuck you. I'm far from that. I just call shit what it is. You, and, and, and if she was ignorant to the law, didn't know it, her bad, that's understandable. Right. But you can't be ignorant to the law when you're dealing with other countries. Yeah, other you gotta, places. You got to read up on the law. You, you got to find learn out. what the yeah. fuck you can and can't do. You got to find out what you can. So like, you, should right? just, you should just type in on, on, on the internet. What can you what, do? What can you do in this in, in the United States that you can't do in other countries? Because I guarantee you this. And no, I'm not one that participated in it. I bet you it's niggas that know can they buy pussy in other countries. They know where they can go when they go on their guy trips. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Niggas know. I'm just saying. They know. I ain't participated ever, ever, ever. They know. But I'm just saying. Niggas know where they can go to a red light district and it's cheaper than here. Mm-hmm. And these is just jokes. 
But I'm just saying some shit that's honest and true. But and... you look at it like we ain't even got to talk about another country. We could talk about right here in the good old United States of America. There's shit that you could do in California that you can't do in Las right, Vegas. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you can go to the Bunny Ranch in Vegas. You go to a bunny to Kabuki Booty Theater here, you're going to get caught up like Jerry Rice and them did <laughs> in, uh, with the Niners. You're going to get caught up on some bullshit. Right. You got to know, you got to know your audience. Mm -hmm. You know what you're doing. Yep. That's, that's, I mean, like, it's like if you're not ignorant to laws here, you damn sure can't be ignorant to laws in overseas. another country. Yeah, especially like you can go down south and shit that you think you can get away with that you, you get can't away buy California. liquor on Sundays in some states. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? How the fuck you going to tell me I can't buy no yak on a Sunday? I drink on days that end with why, and when the days that the sun come up and go down, Man, the fuck we, you gonna tell me smoke, I can't? We can blaze up some weed in front of the police out here. Try to do that somewhere else. Your ass will be getting out on Monday. There's cats because Vegas. Don't let has, it be a holiday weekend. Vegas has a zero <laughs> policy thing. They have yeah. a zero tolerance exactly. policy. Mm -hmm. I went out there. This was years ago. Uh, I think rounds would be we. There was the oh. the Magic Convention, the Magic International oh, yeah, Convention, go, yeah. and the All Star in the same week. Oh, I was week. there. Yeah, I remember. I in was, the yeah. same yeah. week. I, yeah. There was motherfuckers rolling down the street out the sunroof Mother smoking weed. That's and why all they'll that. never have an NBA All Star game in yep. Vegas again because yep. of that. Exactly. It'll cops, never happen again. Cops was walking in the middle of the street like. You pull over. You pull over. It'll you never pull. happen. There's again. probably niggas still in jail from that. <laughs> off, <laughs> off, off, off half a blunt and two Xanax. Yeah. You know what I mean? Doing Vegas has a zero tolerance spot. <laughs> Why? Because, because it's, it's entertainment. Tourism. It's entertainment. Yeah. Don't fuck with the church's money. No. That's why OJ finally got his time. He did what he did in Las Vegas. Las Vegas to the book at his ass. Nigga, we got you. We don't give a fuck about your glove. Yeah. No motherfucking no, hearse car. Yep. No motherfucking, uh, what is it, naked 33 and a third. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> you sit your ass down yep. on the bench, nigga. Yeah. Well, in Vegas, they just threw the book at him. Like, ah, nah, that's what you did. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Like, if you he told somebody, that, if he was in a hotel room and they was trying to leave and he was like, no, you can't leave, they called that kidnapping. Exactly. <laughs> Technically, in in some areas, kidnapping is, if I move you, I think it's six inches from where you're standing, six inches. I can move you six inches. That's kidnapping. Matter of fact, hold on. Do you know that in some states, it's still illegal to get head? In 2022, y'all better know what the fuck is. I'm just saying, oral sex is illegal in some places. Y'all better, man. That's wild. Five feet, right, Vaughn? This and this is six inches. It varies different places. I can move you. Just you know how you grab a motherfucker by the back and neck, like bring your motherfucking ass up. Mm -hmm. That's kidnapping. <laughs> The laws are wild, so the the moral of the story is don't be ignorant. Don't know be where you're going. But then again, when you were saying your point, when you was like, there's a lot of people that don't that if you don't support the WNBA, then and yeah. the stadiums are not full, the then they can't play. They can't pay these players like they want to pay them. That's why they got to go. And that's play why they got to go somewhere else to play because the season live. is not that long. You know no, what I mean? No. And their salaries. Oh, really? Cheap. Something is cheap, real talk, and like, and those are professional athletes, right? You know what I mean. And even when and we they get, go, go ahead. when we get into like acting, something that hit me out, um, because acting the same way, everybody you see on TV ain't rich. I was watching like mm -hmm. Unsung is one of my favorite shows. Mm -hmm. I was watching Unsung Hollywood on the Jeffersons, mm -hmm. and when uh, Marla Gibbs, who played Florence. Mm -hmm. On the Jeffersons, um, she and when she was her her when she was on television, she was still working for United Airlines, mm -hmm. right? And I think after she was on the Jeffersons, like two or three years or something like that, before they came to, to her and was like, "Do you still got your other job?" She was like, uh, "Yeah," and they was like, "Okay, well, whatever you make there, we'll pay you for that, and then we'll pay you what we're doing now to up her salary." Right? You know what I mean? Because her like, character exploded. Right, but they wasn't, they wasn't giving them the money like they gave a lot of those white characters. Right, you know what I mean. Just like the creator of the Jeffersons, Good Times, Norman Lear, Mike, 
Yes, him and Mike Evans. Mike who Evans. Who played... Lionel. Lionel. The original. The original Lionel. Lionel mm-hmm. The motherfucker with, with the horseshoe. The, with, with the horseshoe head. With the yeah. horseshoe head. <laughs> the original... Mo- they got bamboozled out of royalties and everything by... Pilgrims. You know. What's up, Bree? Uh... You got it, yeah. I mean, go, go ahead. Yeah, but no, it's like you know, it, it, and it's and it's kind of it, it's kind of messed up how that is that people don't get paid their just desserts when something is pop. And like I said, support the WNBA. Yeah. Period. Support, support your... if you support if you support the brothers, support the sisters. Yeah. Period. They don't have to go overseas and play. They don't have to do this and play. You know what I mean? But I, I think that they were going I, overseas and played before they even had the WNBA because that was their thing. If yeah, the man, Olympics, man. Normally, you still yeah. wanted to play ball. You know, right. you go through college, you play ball. If you were lucky, you got into the Olympics, you played ball. But then after that, and, after college is over, after the Olympics is over, what else are you going to do? And you right. still want to play. You're still hot. So they had to go. You just imagine if they had a WNBA when, um, when uh, Cheryl Miller was around. I mean, she, she scored that. 100 points in high school. Yeah, she was killing. Imagine if they had a WNBA back then. Yeah. That was your Jordan. That yeah. was your Cheryl female Miller, Jordan. Cheryl Miller is the female Jordan. Period. I agree. Period. In high school, and for y'all that don't know, that's Reggie Miller's older sister. Mm-hmm. And she used to be She used to cats out. his ass. Man, Reggie Miller is a beast. Hey, right, Kev. Norm Lear stole show IDs from a black man. And I'm trying to remember the black man's name. It was Mike Evans. And Hold on. His name is, um, he's the same I, cat. I know I it. I can tell you who he is. He's the same oh, cat that he was, a, he was a writer or producer on Good Times. And he was also, he was also um, married with children. Hold on. Right, he was, right. he created, um, he created or he's a writer on Married with Children. Hold on. I'll tell you his, his name. His name is. Um, I'm going to tell you his name in 2.2. Matter of fact, he's the dude that wrote Coolie High. Yes. The I one that he, like was Preach him. was based on his... Preach from Cooley Hack. Kai was based on him. Mm. Hold on. And his name is Eric Monty. Bingo. I was finna put yeah. Bang. Eric Monty. Thank you. His name <laughs> I, was, I was Eric Monty. Because I you know I got my source. And they wrote, he went to that. court so long and his only he went to court so long and got tired of going to court. All they did was give him a million bucks. That was mm-hmm. it. Yes. He only got a million. He uh yeah. Did you oh. you yeah, oh yeah. Kev just put it in there too, Eric Monty. Eric yeah. Monty. Yeah. So um all y'all that and you know, we can and I, I back to the original point of it, I wish Britney was home. But at the same time, you know where the fuck you going? You gotta know your audience. You gotta know how to read a fucking room. If these motherfuckers say no weed, no weed, motherfucker. Yeah. Don't try to I'm just gonna the vape pen, I'm going to put my weed in the vape pen and just act like it's a water cartridge. No. Different countries, different places don't play. You got, remember, you got countries that'll cut your fucking arm off for stealing the first events. Right. Yeah. Right. And this is, oh, I'm an American. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling the UN. The UN is going to be like, well, the fuck the you down there fucking up. <laughs> you like, you, hey, it's they country. Because now, because, and, and, and a lot of us in the know, now, Russia, because you're a star and you got, and, and one thing I'm going to say about the WNBA, the WNBA, in my opinion, is the most progressive sports league in this corporation. Explain. Their freedom of speech and expression as a unit is better than the NFL, NBA, uh, Major League Baseball. G- uh, they just had their uh, All Star game. Mm-hmm. The first half, they they wore their regular All Star jerseys. The second half, both teams had their jerseys, the Brittany Griner jersey on with her forty two. NBA wouldn't do that. NFL show the fuck never ever would. And baseball, y'all pricing niggas out the game, even though that's the greatest sport. I'll I'll explain that to you in another episode about baseball. You if. I'll just tell y'all this. If your kid, then it's for us. Mex- black, Latinos, and we're not minorities. Get your kids in baseball. It's the only sport where your whole contract is guaranteed. A friend of mine told me not to disrupt that. Talking to a friend of mine. 
and he said how they doing baseball now, how they're trying to Hey right, Farrell. How they how they trying to shove uh the brothers out of baseball because mm-hmm. got all of these that look black. Oh, we're gonna talk about and it now. You don't know you don't know okay. if they're black or not you know me. until I'm a, I'm heavy you zoom baseball. in and see the name on the back of the uniform. Mm-hmm. But you can go get like, you know, and they've been training these cats Brief. since they was 12, 13 years old. They get 19 years old. You get five or six of these cats for one dude. Bree, so I'm going to respond to Bree's comment. Hey! And Farrell, Farrell said, uh, uh, Farrell said if LeBron was in jail, they'd do the same. Exactly. They exa- they would. They would do LeBron the same fucking way. Because there was uh, the somebody made a comment of if that was LeBron, everybody, the responses would be different. No, the fuck it wouldn't. Y'all, that's, that's what's wrong with motherfuckers in this country, this corporation, with your fucking privilege. You think because a superstar that you sucking they dick and mentally here that other countries is sucking they dick too. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> y- y'all, man, I'm telling y'all, might they actually, gives uh... no fucks. All that is is a bigger bargaining chip exactly. for them to say the motherfucker who y'all been holding, who y'all snuck, and and once again, let me say this: you'll get this at three in the morning. The motherfucker that you snuck and captured and been holding for a minute and got him at X X X Y Z Z Z Supermax or wherever the fuck you got him at, feeding him. Uh, Applesauce and ginger Gotlin, snaps. Yeah, Gotham City. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker that, that. Yeah, and you giving him coffee, asking him 50 million questions in 15 minutes. Water torture. For, for, for 20 plus years, that's the nigga we want. Right. Y'all better understand what the fuck going on. Yeah. But no, to the I, baseball. I the thing on that, though, they were saying by people, the more people that are speaking out about her. Is the more right, Von. kind of more doing it a disservice because now, like he said, Putin is like, oh, oh, you really want this? Putin, like, I got the big dick. All right, what? Okay, okay. Well, you, no, the answer is no. Like, fuck <laughs> the y'all. answer is no. The more so, the question was, is it is it backfiring? The more attention this gets. Because, hey, you're right, Kev. You know I mean? So, back to the to the baseball. We're gonna we're gonna. Pity over a little bit because I saw some comments in here about the but even though there's some more comments about LeBron mm-hmm. and and the Britney shit. Hey, she gonna come home when she come home. Uh, and I don't mean to sound insensitive when I say that. Um, I really want her to come home sooner. Right. But I'm a realist. And y'all can keep wishing on the star just like y'all think the Niners gonna do some shit next season. Oh, Fuck good y'all. rib. Oh, good rib. Oh, uh, felt that one for baseball. <laughs> Baseball is one of the greatest sports because it's the only sport, which I've said this several times, where you can fail seven times out of ten and be considered great. There's no other sport where you can fail seven times so out of what's ten. What's about that? <laughs> because you have point. I'm trying to get the, my numbers correctly. From a, the mound is ninety feet from the plate. Remember, I play baseball. My son plays baseball heavily into it. College letters and all that. And baseball is expensive as fuck. Yes. This is a sport where you have, I want to say, between point five seconds to react to something being thrown at you. Football, the, the reaction is way more delayed. Baseball is the only sport where you only have that short of time to react to something being thrown at you, at you physically. Yeah. At a high velocity of speed, and you need to see it, react within four tenths of a second from when you recognize that it's being thrown at you. So you fail seven out of ten times. That's a thirty percent average, which in baseball batting average is three hundred. Mm. You're considered great. That's just batting. So here's my beef with baseball. I played baseball. My son played baseball. I think it's a good sport. Baseball is probably one of the most boring sports to watch out of every sport. Because they don't have players out there showing teams. When you go to the average baseball game, mm-hmm. it's not going to be sold out. You can. It's 
but the thing, empty seats. But, but, but so the where, the, have, where does baseball get all this money, money to good. pay all these players? You know why? When it's the least watched it's when it comes the to the watched. championship. It's the least. When it comes to out of Super Bowl, mm-hmm. the NBA Finals, and the World Series, who sells more seats? I know it's not bigger than the Super you Bowl. You have to remember something. Baseball is regular season, 162 games. Football, and I ain't going to say punk-ass football because I love football. The motherfuckers just expanded the season to 17 games. That's 18 weeks where you got to go do your job. Let's let's call it. Think about yeah, longevity yeah, no, Ironman. You got 162 games. Right. And baseball. The boys of summer. Baseball was a white sport. That was the white people invented basketball. We took it over. Baseball was one of the sports where we were dominating. We started dominating. And in history, in the 70s, the 80s, who's the all-time king? Who's the all-time home run king? Look at the... And what happened with baseball is you had other countries, Dominican, Cuba, which top quality athletes. So I'm not saying they're lower tier countries, none of that. At all, we had Hebrew. I played for Galling and Burke in Oakland right, right. in the okay. day, back in the yep. day. They still got. We that. used to call it the garbage, but that was the, we caught ourselves. You know, it was an inside joke, but we just kept it a buck. Baseball. If I'm gonna look at the average salary, baseball is the only sport where you get drafted in high school. Mm-hmm. Remember, NBA, you, you could go high. Then they was like, oh, you, these niggas is skipping college and going straight to the pros and becoming millionaires. What did the NBA do? You niggas need to be of a certain age and whatnot. They put rules in place. Once once melanated people are dominant, so dominant, the rule or the the threshold, the goal line, always gets moved. Right. And, and with baseball, they got minor league and triple A. Thank you. So if you're in majors and you're and you're kind of sucking, all time home they'll, put you, they'll put you in the minors or yes. the triple A and go get some practice. Thank you. Do some shit. You don't have and that. And you can no still get bumped back up. So exactly to his point. I can have a phenomenal you rookie got the season. League, though. Don't forget uh, but that, that's that's that new. Just, that shit is new. new. That really baseball, just started happening. all this shit's been in forever. Yeah. yeah. You gotta they remember they're having a G League. They just this shit really just started. yeah because they looked at baseball. Because basketball, like, hey, you know, what basketball, I mean? let's keep some of these motherfuckers on ice. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? To basketball, where if they get good, we can snatch them from here. Basketball only has a twelve to was it fifteen or twelve man roster? Yeah. That's it. Fifteen or something like that. That's, that's it. it. Everybody want to be like Mike because mm-hmm. that's the that's the dream that was pushed on you. So. Niggas stop playing baseball because they want to be like Mike. Let me tell you the downfall of baseball. There's multi, this multifaceted in the black community, the downfall of baseball. Because you call it a boring sport, which it's not. It's the only, besides basketball, it's the only sport where you can play. Uh, well, basketball, you play off. In tennis, you play all. In boxing, you play offense in soccer. You play offense and defense in hockey. You play offense and defense at the same time. Right. Baseball. 162 game regular season. It's the only sport to where you can come to me in high school and offer me a million dollar signing bonus and I can say, you know something, I'll wait, I'm going to go to college. Oh, we'll pay for your college. Go to college and all that. Yeah. With baseball, everything you sign for is 100% guaranteed. To his point, I can say I sign and play my rookie year, and McGuire, his rookie season, he hit 49 home runs, which broke the rookie record, set the rookie record at that time. Now, today's money, mm-hmm. that's multi-hundred million dollar contract. Right. Instant and guaranteed, the whole contract. So... That next season, say I suck. And once again, I said, remember, you fail seven out of ten times, you hit 300, you're considered great. So you hitting 330, 345, you're a fucking baseball god. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> you hit three fifty. Tony Gwynn, melanated, rest in peace to the Padre legend. Averaged three hundred hitting for his whole career. Yeah. Beast. Could you imagine the money they would get if they played in at this level today? Because I mean, baseball, baseball is, yeah, I mean. Listen, it takes baseball, football, all sports, and I'm not shitting on no sports when I say this. All sports take discipline, yeah. preparation, dedication. Yeah. All sports yeah. do. But on football, if seven carries, mm-hmm. I'm a running back. Seven times I'm handing off the ball and I don't get yardage, where am I going? the bench. Oh, I'm what going off the team. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, Seven carries out of ten, I do not get plus yardage. Yeah. What is my purpose? Yeah. Basketball. Every ten shots, I only make three. Where am I going? You better hope them some three-pointers. Football. I'm a quarterback. Every 10 passes, I only get three completions. Where am I going? Right. (laughs) Football. I'm a wide receiver. Every 10 balls that get thrown to me, I only catch three. (laughs) Where am I going? I'm not being an all-star. I'm not being an anything. Right. And once again, I'm not shitting on none of these other sports. I'm just speaking facts. Right. Yeah. I mean, to me, I think ba- baseball takes the most skill out of all the sports yeah. that we name, uh, yeah. for sure. But and I and when I say baseball is a boring sport, I gotta clarify that because to me, in person, that shit is popping the most. Yeah. But you like, got beer. But you got like when you watch this shit on TV, that right. should be dry as shit. It, it is like, a lot. And that's but, strike one. You know his favorite color is blue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think that'd be having something it. to do with but it. But that's why they try to juice the game. Then, hold Remember. On. Go ahead. The only thing I say, like, this is why, like, okay, baseball, they playing all them games, but it's the only sport mm-hmm. where you could literally come to the game smelling like cologne. Leave with no dirt and leave still smelling like cologne, <laughs> like so. And don't so play. I understand that. Yeah, they and still get paid games, but I mean they really ain't really doing a whole lot of physical shit. Yes, this is yeah. my thing to wrap up sports. This yeah. is my thing, like and I do you know baseball. You yeah. can um like a lot of these sports like when when you want to get your kids into college or whatever. And I'm I'm a big dude on education. Um, What's up, Cold Peace? Cause, um, when you want to try to get your kids in college, look for sports outside of the big three. Mm-hmm. Because if you can get lacrosse, them a free college education, lacrosse, soccer, soccer, soccer um, crazy. tennis, uh, tennis, like yeah, like Rob said, hey, volleyball. Trying, trying to hit a baseball coming at you 100 miles an hour. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm heavy okay. in the baseball. I coached it. I managed. I played, my son plays, I we deal with cats that's in the league, all that. I'm yeah. just breaking it down to you from an inside perspective. Mm-hmm. Baseball, like Rob said, you have the mound is 90 feet, no, 60, from the mound to the plate. You have point so many seconds to see the from this right. to where the ball is here and you got to hit it. I don't give a shit about football, basketball, jumpers, hockey, none of that. No other sports where you have that limited amount of time to react to something yeah, no. besides maybe boxing. Right. Because you right here, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And that's even, you got three minutes and then you rest. Right. Yeah. But baseball, because once again, like, oh, like I was saying, and we can end the sports shit. This is, I'm going to tell you the destruction of baseball in the melanated community. And this is some real shit. What happened was you had a lot of inner city youth, that's us blacks, Latinos, mm-hmm. playing baseball growing up, and we were in it. Baseball was heavy in the 80s in our community. Right. And what happened? You had players started demanding big salaries. Rightfully so. Right. Now, you have other countries 
who are not as prosperous as us that who, have inner cities and their inner they cities play, are ten times worse than ours, and they play this shit just as hard, if not harder, than we do. Mm-hmm. So I can come to you and say, Rock, I'm Duke, or I'm a major league team. I want to sign you to a minor league contract. And you can be like, well, I know my worth. Once again, this privilege shit that, you know, America's beyond. And I'm not saying it's not right, but I'm just saying you got to know your audience. Y'all get that shit at three in the morning. You'll say, well, according to my stats and this and this and that, I'm top 10 in average. I'm top five in slugging. I'm top whatever this and this and that. You can come to me with less than seven figures over this amount of time. Where you go to another country, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Cuba, Cuba is oh my, hey, balling. <laughs> oh my God. They breathe that shit. Yeah, that Cuba, cool. Haiti. You got so many other countries that play this shit as well. Japan. Yeah, Japan. To where they say, man, give me three hundred dollars a month. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, real talk. And because the cost of living. <laughs> And this is real truth. The cost of living is significantly different. Yeah. Just give me room and board here and pay me $300 a month and I can send 250 to my family in this country to or my home. And that's what them players that 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 pride and that taking care of their family, mm-hmm. that's what a lot of them do. Right. So now my if I'm an owner because all business is to diversify my portfolio, make more money. So why am I going to keep having this? You can be great as shit. But if I know I can get 24 of players with 70% of your skill for 3% of what it costs me to pay you once. And train them and make them better. Yep. Why the fuck am I going to keep talking to you? Look at that. Yep. yep. And also, you look at, because, I, like I said, I ain't got to pay I, for no college My tuition. son, I, I paid... 600 for a bat. I paid 300 plus for a glove. Show college showcases, different sessions. You can spend 400, and that's just for one day a session with three sessions. You can spend four, five hundred dollars. They pricing the game out of the urban community. Yep, mm-hmm. everything is expensive. Right? My son plays high school, he plays travel ball. We play that. Travel ball means yeah. We're going Somewhere traveling else. during the weekends, hotel, food, breakfast, lunch, dinner. All it you pricing you pricing the game out of the comfort zone of the melanated community, the average melanated community, that melanated household. But baseball, once again, like I said, it's the greatest sport. Why? Because if I sign for three hundred million tomorrow. Yeah. I break my leg two days after I sign my contract. Got a rehab, and and I come back, I'm shitty. They put me in the minor leagues, double A, triple A, all this, whatever, and it takes me a year, two years, whatever. Everything I sign for, I get. Football, you only get a percentage, and when they can release you, they can only pay you a prorated amount. Your right. guaranteed amount is only so much. And so to your question or your um, comment on how is baseball able to when it's a boring sport to watch on TV I get it in some aspects of it yeah they don't have the cheerleaders out there shaking their ass showing hella cleavage and 50 million beer commercials but it's a science Mm -hmm. that makes sense certain things you got to put in a slow cooker to understand everything in the microwave man you got so many players that's from even like the 2000s still getting paid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bobby like, Benilla ain't played since 99. And this is 2022. And every June or July 1st, Bobby Benilla, because of his contract, the way it was structured, gets paid one, I think it's 1.2 million until 2034. Yeah. Yep. This man ain't played baseball in over 20 years and still getting paid from his contract because of the way it was structured. And Ken Griffey Jr. too. How long he been the out? The kid? I think he getting paid $3.6 million until 2024. 
Yep. Rock, I mean, uh, shit, he been Mike want to say, Mike said you want to know where he can buy that beanie. Oh, the, uh, this, which one is this I got on? That's the, that's your, on the air, on the air VJ the, on TV it, Oh, the VJ TV one? Yeah. Uh, you can't. Because <laughs> I know if I see somebody else walking down the street with that and I can't find my shit. <laughs> yeah. I know who's so my shit. I just, I just brand shit. That's just me. But conversation that. that we was having before like back to like television and stuff like that mm -hmm. um conversation we was having before um is one of the shows oh. they got p valley right and this is a show there. if you haven't seen it show about scrippers you know Squippers. what i mean scrippers and i think it started as a Squippers. stage play um yeah. and two weeks ago and it's been like all over like you know people been talking about it on youtube and the internet and the whole nine where they had this this male sex scene that was like super overt and it was so super overt, graphic super graphic and it was so graphic that the two actors mm -hmm. in the All scene time. had to post pictures of them their significant and, and their significant other right mm -hmm. but the shit was just i'm sorry it was super graphic no, and it I'm was not just playing none of that shit I'm fucking sorry. out there everybody and, got a price though but i'm cool yeah and that's just weird shit about acting but the thing is is that now a lot of these shows mm -hmm. that you see that's overly sexual in content right are all executive produced, produced by, by women. women so let's make that clear uh, are executive produced right. by women p valley is executive produced by a woman. The Shy. The Shy is executive produced by a woman. Insecure. Insecure. Executive produced by a woman. There's and a these are all talented black sisters, so I respect and salute y'all. Yep. And, but I ain't calling y'all out, and but award I'm just saying, winning. And award winning. Award winning. I and, mean, Holly Weird. You know, never mind. And I they got a new show out called uh, Rap Shit. I haven't watched that yet. Which comes on HBO Max. Okay. And I watched I the first HBO two Max. episodes last night. You gotta watch it. Shit's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Sexual. It's sexual got it got sexual in the in the windows, but it is produced, executive produced by who? Issa Ray. Issa Ray. So I haven't watched it. I'm gonna <laughs> you have know to check I mean? it out. So it was like I remember when they were always talking about like especially when the Me Too movement happened and they were talking about, mm -hmm. you know, all of these male producers doing this and oh, that yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and they got the women, women got in there man, doing man. it no. and why she had to show her titties in that scene in the whole nine yards. If you watch T V right now, oh. all of the overt shit that you see is produced by women. Yes. It's Just to let y'all know. For sure. Hey, and and actually speaking of that, I I wanted I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but I wanna have a show where we and of course I want a diverse guest list of men, women with some knowledge to this shit. I wanna have that that and it's not a male versus female show, but I just wanna have some open dialogue on the concepts of it in the industry and, and everything because I See people's part. Right pointing the finger at all this shit. Hold on, look. Pharaoh uh, said, "Pharaoh, shut up." He ain't here tonight. For do I'm doing that, but I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> Go stop that. Sleep. Stop that. Don't give. All right. All right. What cubes? Uh. Too. Right. <laughs> I'm, like you said, the overtly sexual scenes now. Because I remember hearing those comments about, you know, oh, movies and scenes are too sexual. This and it was always blamed on men. I mean, and to your point, exactly. Mm -hmm. All a bunch of these shows now that are award-winning shows and produced well. The overtly sexual. The executive producers are women, and I say this for the sake of having an intelligent conversation. And I, like I said, I want to have, I want to have. It. There's no absolutes, and y'all that don't know, you probably land next to somebody who want to do so much shit, and you probably ain't tapped the entire level of it. And so, <laughs> <laughs> you'll get that at three.
on it. And if you ain't getting it, believe me, the mailman or the nigga, the cable dude, the, the <laughs> motherfucker who there when you ain't there, you know. Because uh, I did a post. And as a matter of fact, oh, I did a post the other day. I said, it's some motherfucker running around with a picture of the, in their phone of a female naked that you in love. Right. <laughs> I seen that post today. Yes. And I had to look at it. I was like, ah, oh, this motherfucker. You know me. I heard the pot. I talk shit. But, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Gamma. This nigga got to get off before he choke off. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker. I am, yeah. This nigga over here. We ain't got that. <laughs> no. Hey, right, fine. Pharaoh. It's me. I'm motherfucker. Because if exactly. you got it, I got it. So we ain't got it. We ain't got it. No. <laughs> We got some shit like that. Oh, I'll just say now. Next week, I got she will be here next week. I don't know why you didn't have Nishima and then White out on the same. I, you, I, I, what I want to do, we'll talk offline of what okay. I wanted. I because have all of the, you know, and we got to have Mario Hodge back. I already, I reached out. Speaking of well, White out, y'all can catch me Monday. On uh, White Outs podcast days, I'll be on there at six p.m. You can catch it on Twitch. I will be being interviewed. You know, I'm networking. Me, I, I show everybody love. I'll be there. I was on there last. Week. Matter of fact, girl, you coming back Monday because we can talk about our shit. You talking about Where the news. right now? Is that nigga in L.A.? Girl is. I need to pick up. Work. Okay, probably need... somewhere eating some of that fucking uh, raisin cane. <laughs> I need him to pick. Hey man, I need him to pick yeah, me up some at Swat. That raising cane. He probably, uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell her <laughs> this motherfucker needs water. <laughs> I've had hey, a fucking tell, crazy tell motherfuckers week. where they can find you, please. This tell nigga, motherfuckers where they can find you. this motherfucker choked to death. Oh, Pharaoh in the parking lot. This motherfucker here, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, Yo, you can reach me on Twitter or Instagram. K A M M A F L A E. Camouflage. Tap in. What we up to? Speaking of, what's up with Donnie Fresh? Donnie Fresh. Uh, Fresh is uh, busy working on some other stuff right now. So Drip Money Show. Y'all yeah. still doing that? What's happening? I'm... Yeah, we had um location that we we having a show at. Yeah. Just uh, have moved the times around, so we just trying to get. Um, yeah, set I try to the, support and plug everybody. Yeah, for sure. No, that Dream Money oh. show is still alive and well. said open the door. Yeah, they ain't open this shit. Uh, Ferrell, we finna get off the air. We open this shit. Yeah, we we'll ain't be there in shit. a sec. You yeah. should have a key, motherfucker. Yeah, real yeah. Talk, Shout out man. my boy Donnie Fresh. Shout out man. to Donnie Fresh. His birthday was just what the other week. Yeah. And yo, matter of fact, happy belated to you. Yeah. Your shit was just the other day. I seen you get happy birthday with you. Wouldn't be familiar. Man, I see you. Oh, they're looking yeah, like a proud pop and shit. Doing the in the wife beater and shit like you just got yeah, out. in the kitchen and shit. <laughs> nigga with some cupcakes. Yeah, cupcakes yeah, and flannels. Niggas. I don't eat cake, so you feel me? So yeah. I just had got that for everybody else. I don't, I don't really do sweets like so, And of course, this is my producer, the the excellent Rock X3. Uh, yeah, you got that backwards. CEO X Rock 3. There you go. The producer. In the house. And the CEO of VJTV Network. Tell them what you got going on, where they can find you at, please. Uh, sir. Dude, you can find me right here at VJTV Network. Rocks, myself, um, History to Make and Entertainment, Federal Films. We always got shit going on. Shout and out to I'm King about Rivers. to uh, bring back the game show. Oh, uh, in the house. Yeah, in the house, the shelter in place game show where our contestants play from the safety and comfort of their own home. Um, bring it back with my co host, uh, my prize hostess, Candace Ken Kugler. Kugler. Um, so bringing it back, uh, a lot of people like I, I had did about five or six episodes, and you can catch them on YouTube. But you have to put in in the house to shelter in place game show to get it. Um, I um, I uh, did about five or six episodes, and then I got super busy Yo, doing a lot of other stuff yeah. because I'm, I'm a public address announcer for about four different organizations. Yeah, tell me what uh, you do, man. Including Stanford University, he's out uh, there, College the America, and the Oakland Athletic League. Um, and then I also got this new soccer team called Bay Cities FC, and they mm -hmm. have a game this Saturday down in uh, Redwood City at I think it's uh, Sierra High School, Sierra oh. High School, Sequoia. Sequoia. Yeah, Sequoia High School. I so Sequoia. I started um, started doing public. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, we're, I'm going to bring back the game show. Yeah. Uh, Just public announcement for these nuts. Uh -huh. These nuts. You, I miss my d nuts thing. And mm -hmm. there it is. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my esteemed co host just got here. He can tell you where you can find you at, sir. Because that nigga going to detention. You can find me at uh, Feral Films. And hey, uh, speaking real quick, I, I saw the episode with you last week with uh, Whiteout. Oh, yeah. Be there Monday. You come too. We're right, talking right, about right, our right, shit. So you two weeks in a row. Right so we 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 we'll catch right, us on right. Mad Mondays. Why? Why have me? And if there's any painters out there, because somebody can help Feral paint his fucking office, hang up some pictures for something. Because this shit been looking the same way since I've known this motherfucker. Hey man, slow work, man. Please. Slow and steady wins the race. Rob, Rob, what's good? <laughs> Rob, I'm hella mad I didn't make grand do, session, but hey, I chair from one side we're of gonna talk. I call you. I'm a black man. We don't we don't down each other for progress. Exactly, man. We just make it happen. <laughs> hey, progress. And as always, you can find Rock at all the places he told you to find him at. DJTVNetwork.rocks. Just go there and you can find me every place. Yeah, and Feral is Feral Films across the board on all social media platforms. Yeah. You can find Camouflage at K-A-M-M-A-F-L-A-G-E. Hey, man, I got to remember like an elephant, That man. nigga spelled about four different ways <laughs> on my fucking phone. You I think that's one of them. That's the main one. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I got a memory like an elephant. Yeah, uh, and me, I'm Deshaun, the host with the most is Mr. Keeper Cloudy. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Cognac underscore Confessionals. Uh, YouTube, Cognac Confessionals. Facebook, Cognac Confessionals page. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's tuned in, that's chimed in. Hey, like the page, share the page. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to spread the word, have fun. We talking, you know, we talking with everybody who's doing something going, got something going on. Uh, thank you once again for tuning in. You know oh, what I'm Feral, saying? Oh, uh, Feral, space page. Ooh, <laughs> damn, your black planet. <laughs> on my space. Uh, oh, your AOL. <laughs> on my space, I was Feral hey, the Mike. I still got AOL. Feral at AOL.music. <laughs> on, oh. on my space and black planet, I was Feral that oh shit hey uh yeah we for the roll because it's friday and hey i appreciate y'all for tuning in uh now it's time to say goodbye to all my new friends hey man y'all be safe this weekend and hey look for you cross the street because these motherfuckers out there got molded meat and if you fucked up then you could be under the sheet because if you don't win that mean it's all defeat